I just took a DNA test, turns out I'm 100%. You said that. What in the world? I'm 6.73% South Asian. <laughs> That is cool. so cool. I feel so much cooler. No one can offend me. I, you can leave your worst comments on this video and I won't get offended. It <laughs> he hurts. He acts like it, is, then, it bothers me so bad. After nursing all these babies, gonzo. What is up? Hey chat fam. Chat fam, welcome back to the welcome kitchen. Welcome back to the chat win house. Look at Derek's cute nails. Oh yeah, he let's just a, get this out of the way real quick. There you go. Daddy, daughter day, they painted my nails. So <laughs> if you ask, that's why they're painted. Love having daughters. I have cute nails too for the 4th of July, little stars. Let's go! You guys, today's video is actually, we are so, so excited. Excited to actually show you guys and also for us to see these results. We've been wanting to know for so long, like our genetics, down to the genome, because so many crazy things. We got triplets, I'm a twin. Can we pass on certain traits to our kids? And we're gonna see whose genes are superior. Kara's or daddy's? <laughs> Definitely care. <laughs> we went with Circle DNA. It's the most comprehensive DNA test in the world. This box right here, you guys, this pretty box is gonna tell us so much about ourselves that we're kind of scared, but we're A excited. little nervous, but it's really cool. And it's not just like your basic test. Like it tells you where you originate from. It also tells you like cancer risk, disease. Personality traits. Personality traits, uh, food sensitivities, drug sensitivities. I'm finally gonna learn why genetically I'm just so strong. I'm really excited because, <laughs> as you know, I was adopted. So I know a little bit from my birth mom's side. I don't know anything at all from my birth dad's side. So that's gonna be really cool to see things that I would have never have known if I didn't take this test. This guy, as you know, has had a lot of um, gut sensitivity issues. Yeah. So now we're gonna get to the bottom of those because it will actually show what things he is sensitive to. So I've been having like issues just with like my gut health. Things I eat, like I guess food sensitivities. So this is gonna get to the bottom of all that. So we're gonna do this test and it tells you over 500 like results and categories. Reports that it sends to your phone on the app. I'm gonna get to the bottom of like what's been causing my sensitivities. Hopefully this video helps a lot of you guys out. I'm so stoked to see our results. Yeah, it's super interesting. And let's get started. Okay, one, the packaging is superb. Let's do it. There's let's our take test. The test. Okay, Kara has Can't one. Can't wait to get my hands on this. Look at this packaging. It is so nice. Like gold foil. Here on the back, th these are all of the different things. So even like music and dance ability, what it should be from your DNA. So is it gonna show that I'm musically talented? Probably. <laughs> Sports, physical traits, so many cool things. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. You only have to take this test once in your lifetime and it will give you all of your results and they're not going to change. So it's just a one-time test. DNA collection kit. Oh my gosh, yeah, your DNA is sought after. I want some of your DNA. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see who's a superior. Okay, so it says you remove the swab, take it out of the package, make sure not to touch the swab tip, rub your cheeks on the inside of your mouth against your cheek 10 times, repeat on the other side, place it in the tube, and then you just break the stick. And then you screw on the cap and you shake it 10 times. We did it, we got our, our DNA test. I just took a DNA test, turns out I'm 100%. You said that. That husband. <laughs> okay, let's send us off. I'm excited to get some results from all of this DNA. It comes with the prepaid packaging. You just seal it. We're sending back our samples and it's gonna take 18 days and then the results will be put directly into our apps. When we get the results, we are gonna continue this video and we're gonna share everything. Who will be? The superior. Superior. Carrie is by default, because you know, you have to say that, but she is actually. But I am. She really probably is. <laughs> like genetically, she's gonna be able to say, you saw the DNA, I am superior. <laughs> I have proof. Let's see. We're back. We are back. With DNA results. A while ago, we took tests in our kitchen. Oh, I'm so stoked to see my results. I haven't looked at mine yet. Kara, I think, glanced at hers. I like peeked a tiny bit. I was so curious. It gives you a cool summary, but we're gonna go into depth of everything because you guys, I'm really excited to like compare them to his results. There's so much stuff in this report that I wanna dive through. Okay, fly in here. go me go to my app. Okay, so the first one that we're gonna go over is diet and lifestyle. So that's your diet, nutrition, well-being, stress and sleep, pollution, skin. I've always wanted to know about diet. Holy cow, there's so many categories. Diet this right is so now. cool. Your optimal diet type. Holy cow, it says that my sensitivity is to caffeine. I have cut that down, but I'm still taking caffeine. Higher sensitivity to caffeine, 
Based on your genetic results, you're likely to have a higher sensitivity to caffeine and suggest that you're predisposed to have anxiety and sleep problems. It sounds just like you. Even with lower doses of caffeine, ensure you limit your caffeine intake. That is exactly Derek, actually. The problems that he has, and he does drink caffeine. I think I do. I have anxiety, yeah, because I have a stressful life with a lot of children. And actually, the only sensitivity that I have is the salt. I have a higher salt sensitivity. That's it. I have a higher sensitivity to carbohydrates, salt, taste sensitivity. Hold on, this is so crazy. What a taste sensitivity. I'm a super taster. Based on your genetic results, you're likely to have a higher taste sensitivity. It means bitter foods taste more bitter, sweet foods more taste sweeter. How foods taste influences our individual eating behavior. And I'm a non-taster, that so that's why I eat everything. That is so true. That's why I love candy. <laughs> and I taste things, like, yes, that's like, why. Like, I think I'm... that you're more likely to be picky if you are super a taster. A super taster, uh-huh. And I was a non-taster, so and I'm not picky at all. Like, I'll literally eat anything. Yeah, I'm definitely picky. I don't. I hate sushi, like, I hate fish. I'm a super taster. This is already amazing. <laughs> I love that I'm learning this. Okay, so nutrition is the next one that I went to. It's really cool because it tells you with like biotin, calcium, coenzyme Q10, folic acid, it has like all of these different vitamins and minerals. It tells you if you have normal needs for those or if you have a higher need. So like I already know, I always am low iron. So I know it's gonna say that I need iron. And there it is, iron it says higher needs. I only have three, vitamin D, I need more vitamin D, I need more iodine, and coenzyme Q10. I have all three of those on my Hold on, what is coenzyme Q10? This suggests that your body may have difficulty in efficiently processing coenzyme Q10 compared to individuals with normal needs and fighting oxidative stress. That's crazy, I have stress, I have anxiety. Okay, so this is super cool. In the app, anything that you're low on, go to recommendations, it tells you what you can do, because I don't even know what that is. And then it shows you the foods that are rich in it. Of course, of course it's oily fish, such as <laughs> sardines and mackerel. Stress and sleep. Okay, it has like your risk for sleep apnea. It has sleep depth, duration, movement, quality, all of that. The very last one, stress tolerance. Mine literally says warrior. Warrior, I'm exactly. a warrior. It has warrior, neutralist, and warrior. Because people always are like, man, you must have a high stress tolerance with all those kids and all that, all the chaos going on. Literally, I'm like the very highest one. Bottom, stress tolerance. You're a warrior. Okay, on the on. opposite this spectrum. Is spot on. Spot on, because on the opposite spectrum, I am a worrier. So he's the low end of stress tolerance, and I'm the very high end of stress tolerance. And that like, literally explains our lives. Like that's so that's what's so cool about this DNA test. That it explains like our lives, our personalities. I'm such a worrier. I'm such a worry wart. I always say that. And like anxiety and stress. I easy. worry. Like I'm always my head's not present a lot of times. I'm always in the future worrying about like the next thing. <laughs> And so I am a worrier. Let's do talents and sports performance. Okay, this is crazy. Your DNA can tell you how talented you are at certain things. So it'll tell you like the optimal sports type, optimal training type, and like risk of different injuries, endurance. Like my body composition says increased lean body mass, which I feel like I've always just been naturally thinner. <laughs> Even when I was like younger, I was like so skinny I got made fun of, but it's just my body composition. That is also my body composition. Hit it up. Let's go. Hit it up. Whoop. We Twins. are on our way to figuring out who is superior and so far we are just exactly the same. A heart rate response to exercise is higher. What's yours? Higher. I'm likely to have a higher heart rate response when exercising, which is very true. Like when I work out, Sometimes I'll stop with my Apple Watch and just like fill my heart because it's going so quick. Not sure if that's a good thing, but our hearts are insane. Yo, we have to do all we can to preserve this thing. Ooh, this one, music and dance. We all know he's musically No, no, I'm talented. gifted. I'm definitely a gifted dancer. My dancing ability <laughs> for my genetic results is normal and my musical ability is normal. How accurate that is because I play the piano. I would like to say I'm musically inclined. You're gifted. Dancing ability is normal. I am gifted. Your genetic result is gifted for musical ability. That's true. How does it See, know? how does it know? How? How does it know that he is a magical piano player? Thank you, DNA. <laughs> it's Act all in his down DNA. Down to my genome, it knows that I'm gifted. <laughs> Can you imagine life without music? I can't. Let's go to ancestry composition. Okay, this is one of the parts I really wanted to know. Our origins. Kara, she was adopted, so we want to find out exactly where her origins come from. Okay, you go and first. And mine is 100% European. 100%? 100. Mostly Northwestern, and then a little bit of Southwestern, and a little bit of Eastern. I am 90. 93.27% European. What in the world? I'm 6.73% South Asian. <laughs> Never knew that. 
I've never told that to anybody. And, no one's ever told you that. And now I know. Where does that come from? Now we need to get to the bottom of where it comes from. That is crazy. I always tell people I'm, I'm Greek. This kind of sounds cool because my mom has Greek in her blood. Wait, your mom is half Greek. My mom's half Greek. So your my grandma was Dragatelis, was her last name. But South Asian, never would have thought that, never would have known. Yeah, that's pretty cool, actually. I'm gonna tell my friends. I really want to find out like where it came from. South Asians refer to those who are ancestrally Indian, Pakistani, Bhutanese, Nepali, Bangladeshi, etc. That that's is cool. so cool. I feel so much cooler. My origin is pretty sweet. That's why you get tan so easily. <laughs> How can you tell? <laughs> Continuing to the next thing. Explore your genetic blueprint. Personality traits. Now this is where I'm gonna shine, I feel like. This is where I'm gonna shine. <laughs> I've already got the warrior when you got the warrior. Yeah, I am a warrior. <laughs> okay, agreeableness is the first one. We're both balanced. Both balanced. Okay, next one. Conscientiousness. That's a hard word. I'm likely balanced. Extroversion. Mine says reserved and reflective. So this is very interesting because Kara always says that I'm a crazy extrovert, but I'm telling you, I like to be in social situations and I'm extroverted. I feel like I can, I can be that way. I can adapt very easily to any group of people, but I love being by myself, like more than most people. I feel like I'm an introvert in heart. That makes sense? And this supports believe, that. I just don't believe it though, because you love to be the center of attention. That doesn't mean anything. It does. It means I'm just good at like adapting to that situation, but truly I love being by myself. I love it. I love my solitude. And this says I'm likely reserved. You're likely, but you're actually not. I am reserved. <laughs> Mine says reserved reflective too. Hold on, extroverts enjoy exercise. Interesting. Maybe I am extroverted though. What am I? <laughs> I'm both. I think I'm both at times. Neuroticism. So it says you can be confident, calm, balanced, or sensitive, concerned, and we're both confident, calm, which I agree. You are actually very calm. And very calm. Kara is calm. That's a good trait to have as a mom of <laughs> many children. I feel like I'm very confident. I've always been confident. Can't bring me down. I say that too. You can't bring me down. You can't offend me. No one can offend me. I, you can leave your worst comments on this video and I won't get offended. <laughs> anyway. Openness. Openness. Balanced. I'm likely balanced. We are pretty open. I think that kind of, you guys can tell we're pretty open. Like obviously if we have a YouTube channel, we share a lot of our lives. Of course we do have our secrets that you'll never See our deep dark you secrets. Never learn about it. And I like that. I like being open. So you guys, we're all family. Let's all be open together. Go this get your DNA right. test. We'll see if you're open. Okay, we're, go we're okay. now moving down to physical traits. This one's actually pretty funny like to look what at. What you can see. So it has facial and body hair is likely normal, which I would say that I actually am kind of hairy for a girl. A little bit. <laughs> pretty hairy. Well, she's like. Plus I have PCOS, so I feel like that makes me extra hairy. Body odor, mine's just likely normal. Is your strong? Is your strong? Than likely normal? more than normal. That's what it says. Yes. I knew it. <laughs> and this sucks. I, I, I always say because I'm. Greek, right? Which I'm guessing South Asian, but um, I have oily skin naturally, so I can shower and just naturally. Yeah, I think when I sweat during the day, probably, I probably need more deodorant than normal. <laughs> earwax type. Ew, earwax type. <laughs> what is yours? Likely wet. That's what mine says too. Let's go. Okay, now it's wet gonna, earwax. It's gonna tell us our eye color, our hair color, thickness. Mine says blue, brown, and thin, which is all correct. Mine says brown. This is likely, because it doesn't really know, right? Yeah, likely. But it's just all true. Likely brown, likely brown hair, likely thinner hair. You do not have thinner hair. Yeah, I have, I have pretty- He actually has really thick hair. It does say hair. new. The it's next one, I already know what Derek's is gonna be. Pain sensitivity. Mine is normal, which I actually think I kind of have actually higher pain sensitivity. Mine says likely high. You're the least, you're likely normal. Oh. And I'm the highest, I'm likely high, which is very okay, true. that makes sense. You guys, if the water is going like in the shower or she's washing the dishes, I physically cannot put my hand under that water. It He acts hurts. like it is scalding. It is burning my flesh off. It's so hot, it hurts. And then, it bothers me so bad. <laughs> Cause he'll try to turn the water colder and I'm like, that's literally lukewarm and he thinks it's hot and it feels lukewarm to me. Also times I'm like, if you like slap me hard, I swell up and it hurts. That's crazy. So down to my genetics, he's got, my pain tolerance he's sensitive. is- sensitive. Yeah, I'm very sensitive, sensitive guy. To, to pain, yes. My stupid heart, I know, I'm trying to let you go. What does your sweat say? My sweat is likely normal. Hmm, interesting. But I do work out harder than you do a little bit. For gender traits, <laughs> breast size. It says I'm likely larger, which for how skinny I was before kids, after nursing all these babies, gonzo. My testosterone levels are normal, which I feel like that's true. Family planning. So this one is actually really cool because it's going to tell you if you're negative or positive for 
all of these different gene mutations or serious yeah. diseases, right? If you're a carrier for it. So I'm a carrier for one and he's a carrier for one, but they are different. They're different ones. It's funny that's under family planning because it's almost like encouraging you, hey, before you start a family, go get a <laughs> DNA test. Make sure you both aren't carriers for something very serious because then you're way more likely to pass it on. So out of all of them, there's a lot. We each are only a carrier for one genetic mutation. Okay, listen to this. For these traits, carrier inheritance. So if the father's a carrier and mother is a carrier, then for each child, there's a 25% chance the child is not a carrier, there's a 50% mm -hmm. chance that they are, and then there's a 25% chance that it has the condition. That's crazy. That is really crazy. I actually never knew that. But both parents have to have the same one, right? For it to go onto the child. Yes, both have to be carriers. So which one are you a carrier for? You guys I'm can see carrier. all, look at all these negatives. Holy cow, the list goes on. Yeah. So all of these, we were all negative except for. I'm. HFE associated hereditary hemochromat oh hemochromatosis. The symptoms of it would be joint and abdominal pain, fatigue, and skin discoloration. But since he's not a carrier, then then we're good. And then the other one that I'm a carrier for, and she's not, is alpha one. I, I can't even say these trypsin. Oh, antitrypsin. There we go. So mine sounded kind of serious. So luckily, it says the symptoms may include lung and liver diseases. It's categorized as a high impact disease that has a significant effect on life expectancy and affects quality of life. We got lucky. We didn't do this test before we got married, but thanks for not carrying that one. <laughs> You're welcome. So how cool is that though, that you can family plan with your genetics, with your DNA? It's actually really important when you plan to have kids. Okay, this, is, this one can get scary. I'm kind of scared to open up mine. These ones are early detection for your cancer risk, dementia, and brain health. Okay, you start. Okay. Cancer risk. Cancer risk. No I have no cancer, cancer causing, causing mutations detected. So genetically, look, it goes through a lot of stuff. Too. It goes through a ton. So that's just genetically. I mean, you could still do like the environmental environment that like mutate and cause cancer, cause. but genetically I am not at risk. None. No cancer causing. <sighs> okay. It's good to know. Dementia and brain health. I am at average risk for all of those. We are almost to the end of our results. I can't believe we actually went through all of them. <laughs> almost. And you guys, I know this video is a different type of video, but I feel like it's insightful and hopefully you guys are enjoying it as much as we are. I mean, just figuring the stuff out about our genes, it's actually very, very intriguing and I love it. Kay. So sorry if it's a boring video, but continue. Health and disease, common health risks. Mine are negative and average. Oh, I have one elevated risk, which is obesity. I have an elevated risk of obesity too. Okay, but click on it. Let's see what it says. Average risk or elevated. So we're both elevated. I, I do have high blood pressure. I do. I think it's always related to stress, but every time I do the test, I'm high, which is not good. I know you need to lower that. So I need to work on my cardio. I lift weights. I don't do a lot of cardio and I eat pretty bad. That's true. I'm elevated for allergies, childhood ear infection, migraines, which I get monthly. Kale always gets migraines. Holy it's cow. It's the worst. It really is so annoying. Holy cow. We got After all it. of that. I want you guys to vote on who you think has a superior genetic makeup. I actually want to know, like, for those of you guys that made it to this part in the video, like, let us know what is the craziest thing that you heard or maybe learned about Kara and I, because we learned a lot of stuff about ourselves just now. I want to know what you guys thought while you were, you were hearing our results. What would crazy. you most like to use this test for to, like, find out about yourselves, too? What are you the most interested in? Is it where you're from, your sensitivities, or risk for disease? how musically talented you are. How musically talented you are or are not. How extroverted you are. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. I'm actually super glad that we did that. We've always wanted to do it. So we finally have our results. Again, you just take it once and your results are good for like your whole lifetime. So super fun. I hope you guys learned something. Again, if you guys want to go and do your DNA test, you can use our code. It's right here at the bottom of the screen. So using our code and link, you're going to get 33% off of all Circle DNA kits. So grab one for yourself, link in our description, and please, if you end up doing it, let us know some of the results that you get. No, I wanna know. The interesting ones. It's just nice to know what to look out for and kind of like what makes you the way that you are, even who you are, like it personality. Makes you, you. It's really cool. What makes you, you. Let's go. Hey, Woo. chat fam, we love you guys. You Thanks, really if you guys stay to this point in the video, I want you to let us know in the comments who watched the whole thing because you guys are the true chat famers. Let's go. Much love Let's you guys. Go. We will see you on the next video soon. And until next time. Stop. XOXO. <laughs> the chat wins.